Gee, boss, that's you. At last I get the recognition I so richly deserve. Ah, uh, if that rotten rodent Mighty Mouse could only see me now. Let me see your tickets. Do you realize whom you are addressing, my good fellow? Yeah, whom? All I know is no ticket, no get in. Ah, uh, boy. What a revolting development this is. I can't get into my own roast. I say, quite a reception. They must know we're stars. Time to introduce our guest of honor. Ah, but before that, let us see dear old oil can doing what he does best. Well, it looks like the mice team have another victory in the bag. That's what you think, Bob. My plunger and anchor trick will stop him. It's foolproof. <laughs> now, when I say heave it, heave it. I leave it? No, no, you knucklehead. Heave it. Uh, okay. Swifty is making great strides in the meaning of the word fool. Uh, where's Harry? Good question, old chap. You must be putting on a great show in there, boss. Fool, I'm out here, not in there. Oh, yeah, that's right. So how do we get inside? Brains and brawn. My brains and your brawn. I'm almost there. You're closer than you think, chum. Hey, what's going on? I think we're moving, boss. You ought to know better than to park in front of a fire plug. I thought Harry was supposed to show up. We can't keep running these home movies forever. Oh, now we will show you Harry's not-so-famous ancestor, who made our roasty what he is today. And now, High Priest Oil Can Harry will lead a toast to the Queen. Uh, may the Queen's rule be uh, uh, prosperous and uh, <coughs> long. There's something rotten about High Priest Harry. I don't trust him. I wouldn't buy a used camel from him, Your Majesty. That Egyptian Harry seems like some mean dude. Quite old chap. Another famous ancestor was an old sea dog. Or more precisely, an old sea cat. A pirate, to be exact. There were lots of mean pirates. But the most ruthless pirate of them all was Captain Oil Can Harry. Man the capstan bars, hoist the mizzen mast, trim the foresails, and tack a windward. That means get the ship moving! Now! Now! <laughs> Lower the plank! I'm glad I didn't say lower the anchor. Not yet. I need to get past that guard. You mean now, boss? Not yet, fool. I'll tell you when. Okay. When? No, not... <laughs> Answer still no. No ticket, no get in. I'm so glad you could make it to Harry's roast, Miss Pureheart. I wish Harry could have. I'm happy to be here. Harry and I go back a long way. Too long. How did you first meet Harry? Well, it all began. But you need my insurance. Suppose you had a fire. Why, the heat would be intense. Ah, uh, boys, that's pretty good. Uh, a circus fire would be intense. Uh... Swifty. Oh, uh, yeah, boss? Shut up! But I already have enough insurance oil can. We have very reasonable premiums. One million dollars a week? That seems reasonable to me. Forget it. I'm not buying your insurance. I'm not leaving this spot until you sign on a crooked line. We'll see what Theodore...
Theodore says about that. Theodore? <laughs> I'm not afraid of anyone with a name like Theodore. <laughs> oh, Theodore. I'll get even. You gotta have a ticket. You mean these? Somebody must have dropped them. Don't look at me. You had the tickets. Whoever thought I'd do a favor for Oil Can Harry? I'm here. I'm here. Sorry, old cat. It's all over. I missed my own roast. No, I won't have it. Uh, who turned out the lights? Shut up and get me out of here. Well, here we are at the sudden out super filled rest hub. How you feel, boss? My neck's as stiff as a pipe. My head feels like a lump of lead, and my nose is all stopped up. Hey, why aren't you taking me to the hospital? You don't need the doctor, boss. You need the plumber. <laughs> 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 